Hello! Welcome to Rattel, and thanks for joining. I'd like to show you around our estate and discuss how some of the things work. Follow me. First, let's start off by talking about how some of the basic FC benefits work and how you can help contribute to them. One of the main benefits of being in an FC is the garden. Oh, don't step on the plants. A garden produces items used to feed your chocobos, as well as craft some rare minions. And although we only have a small plot, we coordinate our guarding between two different houses, allowing us to produce items much faster. Items in the garden need to be tended once a day, or they'll die. It's impossible to overtend, so don't be afraid to do it when you walk by. Items not tended every 24 hours will begin to glow purple and will eventually die. In addition to tending, plants can also be fertilized once an hour. This reduces the grow time by an hour, which doesn't sound like much, but it does add up. Fertilizer is available in the FC chest and slot 1 at no cost. Please attempt to fertilize the plants whenever you walk by. Everybody in the FC benefits from gardening, and so it's nice if everybody in the FC benefits, or uh, contributes, to making the gardens grow faster. Once you get your chocobo at level 30, you can stable him in our stables when you're not online. Our FC chest has multiple food items that you can use to feed your chocobo. Cracker Roots will give them experience, but so will other foods, as well as having an additional effect, such as increasing the healing, the damage, or the enmity done. We also have foods that can change your chocobo's color. Here I am, feeding our chocobos that we have, and as you can see, the Cracker Root gives a base level experience based on the chocobo's level. Chocobos can be fed once an hour. Once again, Cracker Roots are available in the FC chest in slot 1 at no cost. If you keep a stack on you, it only takes a second to check that the chocobos have been fed. Feeding the chocobos benefits everybody in the FC and is a nice perk. Let's head on inside and I'll discuss some of the benefits that you can find inside our house. Here we are inside the Honey Badger Burrow. It's not only well decorated, but highly functional. We have a variety of useful vendors, including a mender and a junk monger. The mender can repair your gear. The material supplier sells almost all the crafting items you'll need for leveling your crafters up to about level 20. The junk monger sells dye and a few other items. Once you get your retainers, you can summon them at the summoning bell here. At the opposite end is the crystal bell, which can be used to summon the Aesthetian once you complete a short quest at level 15. In order to save space in your inventory, you can store some quest related items and some seasonal items in our armoire. And of course we have an orchestrion, which allows you to change the music in the house. Assuming, of course, you do have the proper music scroll. Our company chest contains various helpful items. Members have access to level 1, which usually contains some chocobo food and maybe some leveling food. Crafters and raiders have access to level 2, which have materia and potions. Officers have access to level 3, but if you see something you need or want, go ahead and ask. Private rooms are available for 300,000 uh, gil. Sadly, the money does not go to the FC. 
but let's head to the workshop. Here in the workshop, we can make a variety of items using the fabrication station. Currently we're building a set of propellers for an airship we're building. By activating the station, we can see what items are needed. Some items are higher level, and some are lower level. As a bonus, if you put the item in, you get more experience. We can craft various airship items, um, housing skins, and ethereal wheels, which help um, give the FC buffs. This is a list of the items on the propeller right now that we need. Speaking of the airships, we have two of them, and we're currently building our third. Any FC can have a maximum number of four. The airships are used to bring back high-level materia, and rare items used to craft housing decorations, glamour, and minions. Items are offered to FC members first, and if nobody wants them, then they are sold on the market. The profit is used to buy shards and crystals to keep our crafters crafting. Airships can also be used to head into Diadem, uh, which is where you can hunt for spoils to buy materia and other useful things. There's also a lot of gathering to be done in Diadem. One of the benefits of the FC, as I mentioned, are the FC buffs, which you can see are active by checking your active buffs. How will you know which ones are will be up? For that, we'll head to our website. I've tried to integrate as much functionality into the website as I can. From the main page, you'll notice several drop-down menus. Of course, we have the Honey Badgers, uh, Join Honey Badgers, which takes you to the applications, and also the Charter. The menu drop-down menu will bring you to the roster, which allows you to see each character in the FC, their level jobs and classes, as well as any achievements they might have. The forums are where officers put information out to the community and receive your feedback and requests. If you have a cool screenshot you want to see on the front page, the screenshot tab is the place to upload it. The Raid Tracker function is used to track participation in workshop projects. And our schedule lifts the buffs and events that are coming up so that you can plan out what days you would like to level, what jobs. The Media dropdown features a page for our streamers as well as your own, our own FC YouTube channel. The Resources tab is where the web page really shines, in my opinion. Gatherers can benefit from the node tracker, which lists where ephemeral nodes and folklore nodes spawn. The workshop spreadsheet is one-stop shopping to find what materials will be needed for all phases of a project. The workshop and garden planner is used to give a visual representation of when a project or a garden will be complete. Let's say you're interested in how soon a Thavenair and Onion will be grown. By looking here you can not only see the current growth, but the future planned ones allowing you to decide if you should wait, or perhaps it's better to buy one off the market board. The airship guide has almost everything you could ever want to know about airships. That's all I have for now. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Once again, thank you for your time, and thank you for joining Rattel.